Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of some sound gloves that I just bought off of Etsy from Mike and Emily at Hyperspace Props. You can reach them there. Uh, me and my wifey do a lot of uh, volunteer work with the Star Wars 501st group and uh, we're in the process of making a Jawa costume for her and uh, we've been on a long hard trek to make a Kylo Ren as well. So we got two sound gloves from these folks, one's for a Jawa and one's for a Kylo Ren. On the uh, the ad, uh, they will suggest that you buy this speaker, which came in this box. Uh, very, very happy with this speaker. Uh, it's nothing fancy but it really gets the job done. Uh, it can be turned up really loud, so you can still be heard in crowded areas. It comes with a little headset thingy here, which you don't really need for these outfits. Um, a USB charging cable, because it's got an internal battery, which is one of the reasons I liked it, because this sucker is supposed to be able to go for eight hours. So any three or four hour troop, uh, Shan Shan should be able to make noises all day long and not have to worry about recharging the speaker. It also comes with this little thingy, which you can use to uh, wear the speaker around your neck, which is going to be very helpful for her costumes. It also has a, uh, a belt clip on the back if you want to go that route. So, really happy with this speaker. Uh, it also came with uh, this, which is a, a male-to-male -male jack essentially, so you can plug it in to the sound gloves. And you want to put it in the auxiliary power slot. Uh, the mic spot wasn't working for me for whatever the reason. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, demonstrate both the sound gloves here. Uh, this, The volume on this is fairly low, but I will demonstrate that in a minute. This thing got really, really loud, so I had to turn it down a little bit. But uh, basically the premise of the sound glove is this. You've got a little, a little spandex glove here. It's going to go over your thumb and two fingers. Let's see if I can get that on camera. So it should look basically like this when you're wearing it. And then you just reach over and hit these buttons with your fingers. I can't put this on because it's meant for Shan Chan, so it's way too small for my hands. And then you've got the, uh, the circuit board here that goes on your forearm so that you can wear something over it to hide these cables. And then the battery pack on the back, it takes three AAAs. So this is the Jawa here, and this is the Kylo Ren. So basically you just uh, plug the jack into the little circuit board, right here. And then you've got uh, four buttons with four sounds each, for a total of 16 different sounds. That's basically how it works. So if you want a particular sound, uh, you're, you're basically going to have to memorize where all 16 sounds are. There's no other way around that to get the responses that you want. So if you just hit one button, bow to the first order. The first order will rule the galaxy. I can show you power, train you. I'll show you so if you want him to say that, you basically just hit the button four times in a row in quick succession. I'll show you the dark side. And if you want to make sure that he hits the first one, all you need to do is hit one of these other buttons and then hit this one again. Bow to the first order. Okay, so I believe that's the first thing when you hit the button. So you just hit the second button and then hit the first one again in quick succession. Okay, maybe that's the first one. I'm impressed. I'll show you the dark side. Okay, so that's the first one. So this would be the second one. Bow to the first order. So basically hitting another button resets it to, the, to its first sound on the clip. So you can hit button number two. 
and then hit button number one. I'll show you the dark side. And that basically resets it. And then you can hit the button again. Bow to the first order. So now we'd reset that again by hitting a different button. I'll show you the dark side. Ready your weapons. So if you want him to say the second thing on the first button, now that the first button is reset, you just hit that button twice. Bow to the first order. And there you go. Ready your weapons. So that's the first thing for the button number two. I will guide you. And there's the one for, that's the, that would be the second saying for the second button. So to make it go back to that, you could hit the first button again. I'll show you the dark side. And then hit this button twice. I will guide you. And there you go. So it's going to be a little bit tricky to get the hang of this thing. You basically are going to need to memorize which four sounds coincide with which four buttons. And then you're going to need to memorize which sound you want to make by hitting the buttons in some form of succession. So that would be the tricky part. But I mean, the, other, the only other alternative is to have 16 buttons on this thing, which ain't going to happen. Ray. This one he says names. Chewbacca. So if you wanted to say one of those two sounds, you can hit the button once, twice, three times, whatever. So if you wanted to say Chewbacca, I'm impressed. you can hit it three times. FM2187. Okay, maybe I messed that up. Maybe it's maybe Chewbacca was the second one. I'm impressed. Chewbacca. There you go. So yeah, basically just uh, memorizing which sounds require the number of button presses and then uh, hitting those accordingly to get the responses that you want. So there is going to be a bit of a learning curve if you really want to, you know, get involved with the sounds and make a very specific sound when you're talking to somebody with it. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. So anyway, that's Kylo Ren's. And then over here we've got the Jawas. I've noticed that when I plug these in, it takes a minute for it to start making sounds for whatever the reason. You can hit the first button and it just doesn't do anything. It, it's like it's syncing itself up or something. So maybe it takes a moment for the, the circuit board to uh, figure things out once you start hitting the buttons. I'm not entirely sure. But I've noticed that you got to hit it a couple times before it starts making noises. So I had to hit that about four times before we got a sound out of it. But after it gets going, then it doesn't matter. So with the Jawa, it's going to be the same thing. You've got 16 different sounds, four for each one, and you're going to need to hit these in some kind of combination to make the exact sound that you want. Of course, with the Jawa, since they're all just noises, it's not going to matter quite as much as Kylo Ren's does. For instance, Shan Chan didn't like that sound. So, in order to skip it, you just hit the third button three times. See? And then it skips it. It'll just go immediately to the next one. So you go one, two, three. And then it skips it. And then it'll move on to the fourth sound. So, I mean, you're, you're gonna need to, uh, really get this down pat if you want to make a specific sound when you're talking to somebody. But uh, we'll start with the Jawa, because the Jawa is almost done. So it's not really going to matter which sound you make, and if you make a sound that uh, you didn't want to make, you can just hit the button again and it will move on to the next one. So it's a pretty nice setup, and uh, this speaker is fantastic. I'm very, very happy with it. I believe these were, I want to say $70, something like that. And uh, a pretty good buy. A lot of people know how to make these themselves, but I'm not one of them. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the setup on these. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to to get it to work exactly the way we want it to. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. 
So anyway, if you're interested in getting one of these, uh, you can check out Hyperspace Props on Etsy and talk to Mike and Emily. It was really easy to work with them, and they sent me exactly what I wanted. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.